We can't learn the importance of someone until we lose that person in our lives, Teo lost his family and Matsumi was with him, he had the effect of the trauma, but she said she'd never leave him, and he got a little peace, but it was a challenging time for him. Now in the school he was sitting silently, and his friends tried to ask him for lunch together, but he refused them in a silent voice. They wanted to cheer him up, but he was still in trauma, and they understood it and left. Matsumi came to him and said he had been sad lately and asked to have lunch together and sat forcefully. His friends were staring at them and were jealous of him because she was the school's idol and his childhood friend. She told Teo that he couldn't spend his life like that, so he had to move on, and he asked if she was his mother. He also taunted her because she had refused a guy and she asked if he was her father, and they changed the topic because it was enough for today. She tried to feed him and suddenly Kaiwaichiro came and took the bite, she asked why he was there, and he said he had completed his work, and he was missing her lunches. He also asked Teo to visit his office after school, now he was walking after school and went to his office and Kaioichiro sat very close to him, and he was nervous. Kaioichiro said he wanted to show him a collection and it was all the pictures of Matsumi, and he was shocked. Kaioichiro said he was keeping an eye on her and he was obsessed with her cuteness and our man found it weird and was stressed. Suddenly Kaioichiro took out a knife and tried to threaten him to death and a girl named Futaba appeared and with a bright light she took our man away. When our man woke up, he saw Matsumi and all her siblings, he ran away because he was shocked and asked who they were, and she introduced them to him. Futaba, Shinzo, Shion, Kengo, Nanao and the guard dog Goliath, informed him that they were a family of spies, and he was shocked. He said he might be pranked and took the gun of Shinzo and when tried to play it, it was a real gun and he got scared. Shion told him about their work and Kengo told him about their elder brother Kaioichiro who was very powerful. He asked why he was after him and they said they got a tip that someone wanted to kill Matsumi and Kaioichiro was very protective of her. Because years ago, when Matsumi was shocked and her white hair because of him Kaioichiro became the protective monster of Matsumi. Butaba was apologizing to him about her brother's behavior and they got the alarm of his coming and they were a little worried. Although they had planted traps for him, they knew it was useless and Teo asked what the proper solution to this and Futaba was told him to get married to Matsumi. They had paired rings and the partner got one of them and this was the only way to save him because he'd become a member of their family by this, and it was their rule not to kill a family member. But our man was frustrated, and Matsumi was trying to stop them and she refused because she said she knew it was a painful time for Teo and he didn't have to force himself for a new relationship. Teo was shocked to hear it, Futaba apologized again, and Shion was ready for the attack, but Shinzo was nervous. Suddenly Kaioichiro appeared there, and complimented Shinzo's efforts Futaba warned him to stay away from Teo, but he was sure about his decision and the fight began. Kengo took Matsumi and Teo away and the others were fighting with Kaioichiro but he was powerful, and Shion's attack also had no effect on him. Matsumi told Teo to relax and Kengo took his coat she told him to relax because she was not going anywhere, and he was relaxed, and they hit him. Kaioichiro came and he identified Kengo and asked Matsumi to come to him and told him that he'd leave Teo on the condition that she had to stay at home. She would never get a chance to use her phone or anything and she was stressed but our man was hearing it and he could not bear it. He came out and asked her not to do anything stupid and said he was ready to do what Futaba told him and she got happy, she threw her ring towards him, and he was about to catch it, but Kaioichiro stopped him. But our man was sure, so he broke the strings and thanked Matsumi for her company and got the ring. Kaioichiro was shocked, and everyone came there and saw the new beginning. Everyone was happy but Kaioichiro was very sad Futaba came to him and said it was fate and no one could change it, so he had to accept it. At night Teo was looking at his ring and he was thinking how her girl said goodbye to him and Kaioichiro was out of explanation. She thanked him and now he slept the next morning he woke up with the alarm and noticed Kaioichiro there, he was holding the knife and our man asked what was for. Kaioichiro told him that it was his first training to protect Matsumi and our man didn't understand that, but Kaioichiro knew what he had to do. Matsumi was cooking and suddenly she heard the noise and went to check on her man and was shocked to see Teo's condition. She was angry at Kaioichiro and he said it was for her safety and now they had to leave, so he grabbed them and went out and the house blasted. Teo asked what was and Kaioichiro told him that it was an attack on Matsumi and asked them to get into the car. She asked him to come and now they were in a car and Kaioichiro started telling him about the threats. He told him that the attack was on Matsumi and it was now on social media and their relationship was also public. He also told him why Matsumi was in danger because she was the 10th head of their family, he told him that it was their genes that one of the offspring had no superhuman powers and one would be the leader of the family. Matsumi was the one who had no superhuman powers and it was their duty to protect her because she was the ordinary person and the head. But she told him that they had agreed to behave like siblings and Kaioichiro was amazed to see her reaction and asked why she chose him. Kaioichiro was telling Teo about her and suddenly they got the bullets our man got scared but Kaioichiro said nothing to be worried about because the car was bulletproof. Matsumi was also relaxed because Goliath was driving and Teo was scared to death, 
the car was very fast and Kaioichiro was disturbed so decided to go out. He was a super monster because they had disturbed him during his tea time, so he punished them well and got back into the car. He said it was their priority to protect Matsumi and gave him a gun to protect him from assassins and now they reached school, and he started checking everything. Everyone was shocked to see his behavior and when his friends tried to talk with him they got scared. Because our man was thinking that when Kaioichiro gave him a gun Matsumi said it would not be enough for their enemies. He showed the account of the bomb attacker and said he had worked for Kaioichiro but money and conditions could buy anything. He showed him the account and said that now the attacker was using his test bombs and Kaioichiro had to prepare for the final attacks. Kaioichiro also told him the flaw of the attacker was that he was a crazy social media user who posted all the things he was doing, like bomb planting and time etc. Kaioichiro told him to protect Matsumi otherwise he'd kill him when he would come back from his job. Now our man was fully active and was watching her suddenly he saw someone and went there but found the nurse so came back. Matsumi was with her friends, and they were telling her about the myths running into the school and she was laughing at them. But our man was scared because the attacker had posted that he had planted his last bomb and our man started thinking about how Matsumi was always with someone to protect herself too. His friends came to him and offered him chocolate and he accepted it, and they were shocked but when he realized he fainted. Matsumi took him to Kaioichiro's room and said the infirmary was closed so she had nowhere to go, and he asked if he was the right option for her. She belonged to a very good family, and she accomplished having to be with him, but she stopped him and said he was her choice. She always wanted him to be her husband, she was always under the threat of murder but still, he was ready to get married and it meant a lot to her. She thanked him and he saw the bomb, which blasted, and no one gave it any concern, Nanao and Kengo were happy, and Cheyenne was also watching it. But our couple was safe and sound, Teo thought about how things got connected and he was scared. He suddenly found a bomb on his shirt and found no other way, so he jumped to save her and Kaioichiro came and grabbed him. Kaioichiro told him about the bomb and its diffusion and said now Teo was ready to be their family when they were together. Nanao, Kengo, and Shinzo came with the attacker, and he asked for mercy, but Kaioichiro threw him away with a bomb and he blasted in the air. Everyone enjoyed it and Teo was scared that the man was still cracking jokes about his death on social media. In a ruined place Teo was helpless and Matsumi was in danger he wasn't able to protect her, and he was frustrated. But he suddenly woke up and he was in Yazakura's house, when he stepped down Goliath was there, and it was a death threat to him. Matsumi helped him and said it was her mistake because she told Goliath to guard him from Kaioichiro and Goliath was very friendly with her but not with him. Now Futaba was doing her work and our man asked her to help him in becoming strong firstly she didn't want to give him some attention but suddenly gave him a mix. She told him that he had to live in this house for a month and then she'd teach him to become strong he thought it was very easy, but he suddenly fell. Futaba told him that this house was no less a labyrinth so he had to be careful because this month would be a great trouble for him. He thought that he might die in a day but had no other option. The next morning the alarm rang, and he didn't wake up but suddenly it blasted, and he had to wake up. He went out and made another blast happen, it was troublesome, on the breakfast table he was in a very bad condition. Matsumi was worried for him and Kengo tried to have fun with him, but she punched him, and Cheyenne started telling him that he had to show more potential. Because this house was controlled by a computer and if he wanted to be accepted by this house then he had to pass all the traps and with was the greatest task. He ate the food but got a stomachache and Futaba told him that the food was poisoned, and it was also a task. He ran to the washroom but the room was locked and he had to open it. Kaioichiro made fun of him and when Matsumi tried to help him Futaba stopped him and sent Cheyenne. This was the first day and the hellish life started. Everyone was pro at their skills, and they had no problem getting the things they needed. But our man was new so he always gets in trouble, and he failed to get food. Failed to get the TV remote, failed to go into the washroom, and he also failed to take the bath life was becoming difficult day by day. In the school, his friends asked him if he was okay but he was wearing a very heavy shirt underneath and wasn't able to ask for help. At home, he went to Matsumi, and she was sleeping, he gave her the blanket and went to practice and suddenly she came. She asked to sit together, and they started talking, she told him not to force himself and he said he wasn't. But she said when they were kids, he was always a silent person for her, but when she got her white hair no one liked her, and they started teasing her. She was about to be abused, but he came and started cutting his hair and saved her and she found him the most protective person for herself. He was happy, Cheyenne and Shinzo were also happy to hear that. Now our man was used to living there and he was doing very well. Shinzo was helping him and so was Cheyenne, but they were not sure if it was his talent, he was really in a bad condition. Now Futaba was walking with Kango because it was his punishment, and our man was struggling with the poisonous gas. She also found it concerning and now he was improving and living there. Matsumi was also surprised and suddenly he got a stomachache and wasn't able to open the door so Nanao went to help but he fainted. Everyone was worried and he was out. 
Nanao checked him and said it was a fever because of fatigue. Futaba was there and she told him not to compromise his health he tried to deny but she removed his false skin and said she knew everything. She said it was impossible to become that normal with this house being a normal human. He accepted it and she gave him a book. She went out and was very happy to have Teo because he was doing great lately, and no one was better than him to protect Mutsumi. Now he was able to open the door, and everyone was tossing him and the air Kaioichiro wasn't praising it, but Futaba was also happy and suddenly the rig shined because he had completed all the tasks. But now everyone told him that the tasks would be increased so he could become more powerful, and our man was in trouble again. You may now subscribe to our channel to get more such videos, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments section and like the video.